I don't know, but whoever invented the graham cracker, if I can get one out here. I want to be friends with you because I just dropped a piece. These are the most amazing things in the world. What's up and good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. So I decided to make this quick video for you guys because, well, I'm kind of at my wits end with a situation that I got going on. Now, honestly, when I made the last video or when I made the video about it, I thought this was kind of going to be the end of it. Um, it's kind of the closing door on the whole situation and... To me, you know, close that one chapter and let's move forward. Uh, and of course, I'm talking about the accident with my Silverado. If you guys haven't seen what happened to it, or if you're still not kind of caught up on what happened to my Silverado, um, there'll be a link to the video right here. It's it's a long video, but the reason I put it out there is to hopefully save somebody else from being in that same situation or prevent somebody from putting themselves in that situation. So obviously, with the uh, with the accident, my truck got totaled out, and well, with that comes a, a whole lot of paperwork and kerfuffle and all that but you know it's it is what it is i've never been through that situation but i've heard you know you essentially sign your vehicle over to the insurance um and then they handle it from there maybe a little release to the dmv and that's kind of where it stops well let me tell you something it's been over a year well over a year and i'm still getting paperwork let's head up to my office so to me once the truck signed over I no longer own it, right? It's the insurance problem, they deal with everything, but boy was I wrong. And if you guys are wondering how insurance handled the situation or kind of how they deal with trucks like this or how any of that went, let me tell you. I know there's been some rumors about there about how I got some big settlement and that's how I bought the new truck. Yeah, you guys are gonna be, uh, you're in for a surprise on what happened on that truck. I, that's a whole nother video we're gonna make at some point, but let's just say, um, I'm out a lot of money on the old truck. But regardless, aside from all that, first things first, obviously the truck was in a police impound, right? And finally it got taken out and taken to a regular tow yard after the investigation was done and all that. Uh, then all of a sudden I start getting notices from the tow yard saying, hey, you owe us a ton of storage fees. Now mind you, I signed the truck over to the insurance months ago. It's no longer my truck, I no longer own it. And I contact the tow yard, let them know, hey, I don't own the truck anymore. It's the insurance's truck. I don't owe you anything. And they said, well, okay, yeah, we get it. Uh, we need you to come sign a release form then. All right, I guess I'll uh, go out of my busy way, go down, sign the release form. Not that big a deal. So I signed the release form pretty much stating insurance can take the truck. It's theirs. Great. Go in, get it out of the tow yard, do whatever you want with it. Uh, also filled out the release to DMV stating I don't own the truck anymore. It's been totaled. The insurance owns it, blah, 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 blah. Fast forward now, obviously the investigation took a year. Uh, so now we're well into a year. Well, guess what? Registration is due on the truck. Well, I get a notice from the DMV saying, hey, you owe registration fees on this truck. So contact the insurance, send a letter to the DMV saying we no longer own the truck. The insurance owns the truck. Um, they say, okay, great. Send in this release of liability or this whatever, which we had already sent in. So we send in another one. Okay, great. Fast forward another couple weeks. We get another notice. Hey, you are delinquent now on the registration for your truck that you owe since you didn't pay last time. Contact them again. They said, oh, this is crazy. You send us another release form. So we send in another release form saying, I do not own the truck anymore. It is not mine. Uh, stop trying to charge me registration fees. So in the meantime, uh, me not knowing anything kind of going on with the truck, because at this point, really, I've mentally checked out of the truck. I don't want to deal with the truck anymore. I want to move on from the whole situation because, well, it was probably the worst moment of my life ever. And the quicker I can move on, the better. Uh, but then one of you guys who are very diligent and are very keen and are all over the internet sent me a link saying, hey, I'm pretty sure this is your truck on this auction website. Now, I must say part of me did not even want to click on the link because, well, you know, my truck was my baby and seeing it all beat up. Um, I just didn't want to do it, let alone, I was like, well, there's probably a good chance it's not my truck, but I just don't want to click on the link. And I think I looked at the link for about a week before I finally clicked on it. And well, lo and behold, as you can see behind me, it was, uh, it's definitely my truck up for auction. Now, mind you, that's what happened. Um, that's what happens. The insurance pays you for the vehicle. They take the vehicle to auction. They get a little bit of money back. And that's just kind of how that whole system works. And to me, seeing it finally in an auction yard pretty much told me like, all right, this whole saga is done. Um, the truck's going to get auctioned off and, and then that's it. Well, if you haven't noticed by the pattern yet, if you guys thought the BBB build was cursed, the end of my Silverado's life has been obviously the accident, but 
every string of events following has just been cursed as well. So then we get a letter from the auction yard saying, hey, we want to sell this truck, but we see you're still the owner. We need you to sign a release, which is funny because I haven't owned the truck in about a year and a couple months. Uh, the insurance company owns it. I do not own the truck anymore. So I call the auction company and they say, well, you know, you're right, uh, but if you sign the release, it'll just make everything easier and quicker. So, okay, whatever, sign the release, mail it in, uh, sell the truck, do whatever you gotta do. Let's just put an end to all of this. Now, if you guys know how things work around here, you know that's also not the end of this story. So obviously another couple of weeks go by, maybe even a solid month this time, and guess what just showed up yesterday in the mail? You're not gonna believe this, I know, it's gonna be hard to believe, but Oh, hey, the DMV still looking to get paid on that registration to a truck that I haven't owned in a year and a half or a little less than a year and a half and have sent in multiple forms saying I do not own this truck anymore. Oh, well, anyways, here's a form saying you're delinquent on your registration by a year and a half. So at this point, I'm so over this truck. I'm so over sending in the same paperwork every time, talking to people that have no clue what's going on every single time. I'm just kind of at my wits end uh, when it comes to this truck and I actually just pulled it up on the auction site. I mean, obviously that's where I got this image from behind me there and it hasn't even been auctioned yet, which is bad news in my mind because that tells me there's some kind of issue with some more paperwork getting tied up somewhere. Um, now I didn't expect this process to be easy because obviously, you know, you're dealing with insurances, you're dealing with, you know, investigations and it's just been crazy the entire time. but. I've seen this go a lot easier for most people and why it is such a headache and such a hassle. I have no clue. I filled out every form I was supposed to fill out a year ago. I've done everything I'm supposed to do just for some reason. There's, I don't want to say it's incompetent people, but somewhere somebody's missing the mark. It's frustrating guys. It's getting so freaking annoying that anytime I see a letter from the DMV anymore, I just don't even want to open it because I know it's something related to the Silverado. It's something saying I didn't do something even though I did. It's just, it's chaos. But you know, at this point, you can't stress about it anymore. You just got to let it take its course. Uh, if anybody wants to buy it, uh, good luck. Feel free to go try and buy it because I don't know what's going on with the uh, with the truck and the current auction situation. You know, but it's kind of like uh, adding insult to injury, you know? I thought this whole situation that never should have happened was done, and then of course it just keeps resurfacing and resurfacing and resurfacing. But you know what guys, at the end of the day, life goes on. I'm lucky to be here, I'm lucky to have my dog. I'm lucky to be in a position where business has been well enough this year, I was able to go out and build another truck. So I can't be too mad, I can't get too worked up. Um, all it's gonna do is just bring me down and there's no point in that. And speaking of new truck, uh, hopefully we get the BBB back here in the next couple of days or so because I really miss that thing and I wanna put out some more content for you guys. So we're really, uh, we're really shooting to get that back but I think I got a lot more cool videos lined up for you guys. So thank you for coming along on this whole journey from my last truck to my new truck. I know there's a lot of ups and a lot of downs, but I try to show you guys just the real side of life. Um, life's not all peaches and rainbows and I don't even know if that's the saying, but things happen. And to me, the way I try and set my channel apart is I try to just be real with you guys and show you guys situations as they come up, show you guys how I handle the situation, how we got through things, how we moved on, and you know, hopefully that uh, helps somebody out. You know, and I hope none of you guys ever have to go through any of what I've gone through in this whole situation but should you find yourself in any type of situation like this, just know there's always light at the end of the tunnel. It seems bad while you're in it. It seems annoying, it seems frustrating, it makes you wanna pull your hair out. And trust me, I don't wanna pull any of this hair out. It's beautiful, I love it. Um, but just know, there's people that are always worse off. And that's what I tell my girlfriend, that's what I tell everybody in my situation. You know, every night that I get to go home, there's somebody in a hospital room uh, that doesn't know if they're gonna see tomorrow. There's, you know, there's always somebody in a worse situation than you're in. Uh, you're gonna make it out. You're gonna survive. It's human nature. So just know that and push through it and you know at some point uh, Things will start to work out your way So I know this video was super super short But I just wanted to get that out to you guys and show you kind of the headache that I've been dealing with behind the scenes But as always if you guys have not subscribed to my channel Please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content with the new truck Which hopefully the curse of that thing is done and we are on to just a bright future don't forget to give this video a like, aka a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforwardapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. Also, you know, the more orders you guys place, the 
less boxes I have to look at. And as you guys know, I hate boxes. I sincerely appreciate every single one of you guys that watch my videos. With that, I'm out. Later. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.